When it's time to start the question period in your presentation and you want to get it off to a better start, fast, faster and on target, here's three things you can do. First, before you get to the question period, you tell people a couple times that we're going to take questions at about this point in the presentation. So you warn them that you will be opening up to questions and they can prepare their questions and have them ready. Then when you get to that point where you now want questions, you, tell, you start the question period not with that silly old phrase, any questions, because that doesn't stimulate thought. That's a silly, silly question in, in itself. And they might even wonder if you really want questions because that doesn't say you want questions. So instead, start the question period with who has the first question about our topic? Who has the first question about how this will work for you? Who has the first question about? That way, you're speaking directly to their brain and it's making them think, okay, what's the question that I want to ask? Now, after you ask that, and then you pause and wait for someone to pose a question, there's silence. How do you get the presentation? How do you get the questions rolling from there? Well, sometimes you might need to do this third technique. And that is to say, a question that I'm often asked is, and then you pose the question, George, how can you start your questions? <laughs> and then you answer the question. Now, you had the question prepared, so you have a good answer. And the audience, they don't care where the question and answer came from. In their brain, they just register that there was a question and an answer, and it was safe to ask a question, and you gave a good answer. And now they might be ready to start posing your question. Sometimes you might have to repeat this technique once more. You might say another question that comes up is, what do you do when you don't get questions at the beginning of your question period? <laughs> and then you answer the question. And at this point, the audience has heard two questions and answers, and now it starts to feel more conversational and safe for them to pose their own question. There's three techniques to get your question period off to a good start.